Have you heard that the president was shot? No, sir, I have not. Well, he was in Texas. Uh, do you have any reaction to that? No, sir, no more than I'm shocked to hear it. What is your reaction? I think it's very, very tragic. Uh, I think a lot of us possibly didn't agree with a lot of his policies, but uh, uh, it's real sad that this country would, uh, that something this say would happen to happen to, would have to happen to such a fine man. Uh, that bad, anyway. I saw all those people around in there. I was wondering what happened. Well, the president was shot in Texas. Uh, what is your reaction to that? Well, I tell you, it upsets me very much to hear that, because that's the only man that I got my trust in for president. What is your reaction? Well, it's a shame that he had to, uh, someone had to shoot him, really. I have nothing, you know, nothing against him. He and the governor of Texas were both shot by an assassin. Uh, what kind of reaction would you have to hearing that story? Very bad. What kind of a person do you think would have done something like that? Oh, very bad person. That's right. Uh, insane, I guess. Yes, I have heard about it, and I feel very badly about it, too. What kind of a person do you think might have done some, such a thing? Well, I can't put a judgment on a person, but I don't think he had all his right mind to do something like that because I believe there are other ways of doing things than to killing a person. I feel too bad. I, I hate to even talk about it. I feel bad. Well, I think it's a very sad thing to happen to anyone, even our president. I think it's very sad. I just resigned from the human race, I think. <laughs> I'm a little emotional about it uh, because it is quite a shock. Uh, I can't see how anyone uh, could think of doing such a thing. I mean, it's not going to stop progress. I expected that to happen, but uh, I, I figured it would uh, happen sooner or later, but I thought they would get him out of the White House a different way. I'm very sorry to hear about it, believe me. What kind of a person do you think could have done this? I don't have the slightest idea. I keep wondering to it in my mind. Who could have done something like this? It's awful. Believe me. You know, many people had uh, bad words about President Kennedy, but I imagine they all feel different today. What was the reaction here at the school when the word came that the president had been killed? All the children were very much surprised, and especially all were shocked. And they began to pray immediately for the repose of his soul. You told me that you saw at least one person crying. Yes. I saw the fourth grade teacher going down. She couldn't even tell me goodbye because she was crying. She was in tears. Do you think the children, most of them, are old enough to appreciate what happened? Yes. I don't think that the kindergarten and the first grade uh, appreciate it, but the rest, yes, every one of them. They know the, our laws. Well, I just heard of it. I just got, came out of the show. And I, just this minute, I uh, heard it. How long ago was it? Oh, it, it was within, uh, oh, about a half hour ago, and uh, there's no word as of now whether he's alive or dead. He's in the hospital. He was shot in the head. Uh, the lady said that a gov the governor was shot, too, of Texas? Yes, uh, the governor of Texas was also shot. Uh, it's a shock. It's amazing. I mean, it's hard to believe. Did, did you ever think that a, that a thing like this could happen in this country at this time? No, I didn't. I think the last president, uh, Lincoln, and then our governor being shot at one time, but never this. I'm, I'm amazed. I was really quite shocked to hear about it. How long ago did you hear about it, sister? About, we five heard about it about five minutes ago up in the optometrist's office in Maison Blanche. Quite shocked. Did you ever imagine that a thing like this could happen in this country today? Well, I mean, if you really think about it, it could happen, but I, you, you don't expect it. But anything could happen, I mean, you know. What do you think would motivate a person to do a thing like this? Oh, it could be just about anything. It really could. 
people or really anybody who might be opposed to his policies or even some demented person who really didn't realize what he was doing, you know. It could be just about anything. You can't you can't analyze the motives of a person that you really don't know, you know. That's right, sister. Do you, uh, have you said any prayer? Was that the uh, reaction to pray for the oh, person? Oh, well, yes. <laughs> the first thing, you know, you start to pray nationally for him and for his family, too. Well, what, what do you think would motivate a person to do a thing like this? Get a good psychiatric examination for the man. That's about all I can say. Probably needs it. Uh, what, what do you mean that the country would be? From the South, so uh, in saying that in regards to the racial trouble that we're having, I think he's stirring it all up. I think it might fight down. Uh, what do you think would motivate a person to uh, resort to shooting the president? Well, I'd hate to think of anything that would be that serious. I mean, I... I know I wouldn't do a thing like that, and I'd hate to hear of anyone else doing it, but it's, it evidently is some fanatic, you know, that have with or something that... I don't think a man in his right mind would do that. I hate to think of it that way, anyway. Sounds more like South America to me. What do you think would motivate a person to do a thing like that? I think he would have to be mentally unbalanced. Thank you, sir. What, what do you think will be the... the reaction of, uh, of people in general to a, an incident like this? Well, I'm afraid it would have very far-reaching effects throughout the world. And I do believe that everybody...